as you delved into the strange abyss system, whatever happened here well happened a long time ago. You discerned and discovered that there's a giant eye creature that was re well let loose rather than re let loose onto the world. After fading into decaying of the symbols that kept it in its own coffin. You were given this information by a strange shadowy creature that stands in the corner, just regaining its power. While though it is weak, it is not exactly attacking you, but you could discern that it is evil. Whether you are attacking a defenseless creature, more or less, well, depends on what constitutes your actions as evil. So, you can still kill the thing if you really wanted to, but so far you decided not to unless necessary. But if you stick around here and the iron creature comes back, you will have to fight the thing if its boss tells it to kill you. Or attack you, restrain you, or whatever it decides to do. So, with that in mind, um, Roswin took a rubbing or a small sketch of these symbols to attempt to try to recreate them once you have the proper paper, ink, and other things you need. With that in mind, you do have no other way to go back to except for the room you entered in beforehand with the giant amount of webs. Do you head back or do you do something before you get there? I think we had to be that we wanted to leave because we did not want to be here when the thing came back. I believe that was true. Um... Unless anybody Wait. wants to still survey the room. Wait. You can see, survey the room if you like, but uh, you've basically acquired most of the traps in the area. Um, to reiterate, in the far corner of the very room itself, you found a sarcophagus that had um, a strange symbolic pattern to it inside of the walls. To the south side of that area seemed to be another coffin but the symbols seem to be inside of it if two groups of parties enter into one or the other room um a tra trap activates and it hits both parties but if you don't enter into one before you enter into the other no trap activates and you can't even sense a trap to the middle section of this area there is a beam and a strange spring trap along the area Minty has managed to break it apart and acquire one great club. Uh, it was something bigger or uh, maybe a little bit better than your regular club. I forgot what size, but it was like one size bigger. But the system seemed to work as if someone would go into the area alone without the party and then get springboarded trapped into the area and then close the door behind them. So if someone decided to go in without uh, telling anyone, well, they might be stuck there for, well, ever. To the west of that area seems to be the, not a trapped area, but a Ying, uh, a Ying Ti predecessor's tomb. There's also the shadow creature in the corner, but it didn't really do anything to you. It just gave you information and then just continued to rest. In the middle of the room that you're at now seems to be Will-O-Wisp surrounding this strange archaic symbol. And you found the three uh, spell faded symbols in the cave. Not the cave. The uh, little coffin. So anything else you decide to look at, uh, you're going to have to basically point and click. I should probably say that's better. Um, if you decide to check on this statue, you have to roll something specific for that statue. Uh, this pillar, something for that pillar. Uh, this broken pillar, something for that broken pillar. Since you've more or less team-wise have looked around, just not in anything specific. Uh, yeah, what about I need to take a look at that statue that I'm next to there? Alright, uh, go ahead and roll for me an investigation check. I'm sure this is going to turn out great. I'm, I'm great at looking at stuff. Uh, 
Checking out the statue, it seems to represent something with a giant, uh, great sword emerging from what appears to be the ground. Um, it is not bringing it to the ground, rather it is raising it. Uh, I think sort of the stone style. However, the strange monikers and depiction of the said statue seems to be a more demonic visage than anything else. Other than that, you can't really get much too detailed wise. It's possibly it's corroded or it's possible you don't really care about uh, architecture or statuary. Either way. Uh, Kobo, what are you doing in the corner? Um, actually, I, I was letting everybody else get their stuff done first, but I would like to investigate this area. Okay. Just uh, the wall looks a little different. It does look a little different. Uh, then I guess if you want everyone else to go first. Uh, I, I just didn't want to be rude if nobody else has got anything specific. Okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Ready? Oh, I don't find nothing. From what you can tell that the wall seems to have a strange groove pattern. It does dip in a certain area, but it doesn't really do much. It seems to be more of a relief. Uh, you okay. do look at the wall. It does seem to have different patterns, but nothing like nothing hidden. I, uh, Roslyn, is this interesting? Can you read this, or do we not care? I don't... Um, I'm trying to move. Hold on, because, like, I'm telling you, my thing is all buzzed up, so I, like... Okay. Hold on. I think... Is that you up there? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so what is it up the roll to check? Um, it is a depiction of a relief of a strange iconography. Basically, think art on the wall. A give her a help by pointing it out or does she have to do something intelligent that I don't have uh you would probably have to roll history uh I mean, and I if we were I didn't playing know if I could I, I didn't know if I could actually help her like help action not in this case no really I mean I, I mean okay. I get what you're trying to do but like I guess because I mean from from the lore it seems like this whole entire place is dedicated to like an, a certain entity right that we, that we had discovered from other um here let me just do it anyway uh yes okay. correct oops sorry did not mean to do that but yeah we'll take whichever one i guess it's not meant to be with uh 24 yeah. since the first one rolled from what you can tell it does seem to be depicting the strange kraken like creature in here beforehand it's not anything new but it does seem to be very well made um other than that you can tell that it is newer than anything else in the area so okay. someone does have a flair for the arts and it does seem to be maybe a week, two weeks, month, definitely not any more than a year old. And it does take time to do this type of work, but nothing out of the ordinary. The only thing that is, at, Go ahead. the only thing that is out of the ordinary though, is that it doesn't seem to be made out of tools that carved this etching, uh, this relief rather. It seems to be almost forced into the wall. What, like somebody punched the, the the drawing out or something? Uh, punched it, uh, carved it in with some type of magic. Um, maybe some psionics. It, it's hard to tell okay. unless you actually saw the thing, but you can tell that it doesn't have the groovings that tools would make. I thought it might have been a secret door or a secret panel or something. Uh, I tell uh, Rosalind that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, possible, but I, it doesn't seem like there's anything here to open, maybe? Like, a like, uh, depicting, depicting what it actually is, it's one giant eye creature with various eye stalks surrounding it. To the other side of its right side seems to be representing a strange kraken-like creature. Almost about the size of a giant pillar-like structure, about ten times the size of the giant eyeball creature. However, around it, surrounding it, seem to be various symbolisms of various races. It doesn't depict one specific one, but it does have uh, different silhouettes of various races, races. So you can tell that there might be uh, dwarf uh, progenitors, human progenitors, which I think still humans. 
uh, goblin progenitors, things like that. Um, and this right hand eye is next to the giant uh, kraken creature. Does that eye look similar? I mean, I don't know if... Did we see anything like an eye in the coffin? Um, you did not, and it's only silhouetted. It doesn't give actual details. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is kind of weird, but I don't... I can't make any real connections other than what we've discovered earlier, so I don't know. I share what I've what I've seen with the rest, so everybody kinda is gonna know. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh Toulouse, what are you doing? That we already did that. We sprung some trap door thing. Um, I don't think there's anything. I think we're. I'm just waiting for us to. I guess I would help anybody with anything they need to move on to the next part of this. That makes sense. Uh, Mantius, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just looking around. Playing guard. Alright, as you're playing guard, you can tell that the pillar to your, the right of you seems to be broken. Not something you did, even though you probably could have done it, uh, based off of your own strength. However, you can tell that the breakage is relatively new. Maybe a week, maybe two, but definitely not more than a century old. Probably explain that to everyone else. Hmm. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think it's, I think we need to get out of here. Yeah, I think we. I mean, I, I've investigated all that my god wanted me to. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Potentially. All right. Uh, as you head out, no strange eye creature comes to try to attack you. Unfortunately for you. Oh. <laughs> you re-enter into this area and you can tell that the giant spiders, the small, medium-sized spiders, and the very small spiders are still on the ceiling, just crawling around. Unless you actually actively try to mess with them, you should be fine. R remembering what uh, has transpired before, going up the stairs will lead you back to where you once were. A strange ca cave system with a waterfront. If you go south, from what you can tell, there is no exit, according to Stool and Kobo. I believe it was Kobo that mentioned that. Um, however, you still have one passage to the north. That you have yet to explore. To the north, and attempt to get out. Wait, it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. I just need a confirmation. Uh, copy. Yeah. All right, you head through the north section, and you do feel a sensation around you. You can tell there's the breeze in the area, and you can tell that beforehand, there was a breeze before. Entering into the site, you can tell that it draws closer and nearer to things, and, well, it gets a little bit brighter. Not by strange uh, crystal light, not by the sun itself. You didn't make it there that fast. However, you can tell that there's torchlight closer and closer as you move forwards. You can also tell that there's grooves in the walls depicting work. Not simple uh, erosion, but actual work in the s in the stonework itself. Not the stonework, into the walls themselves. Do you press forwards, persevere, or run immediately? Is that so in this area that we're at, where all the spiders are, or is it? No, I'm depicting what you're going towards next. I see. On our I think way we need to move up, yeah. There's strange markings on the wall, you said? 
Uh, the strange markings seem to be tool markings as if they're trying to make sure the cave system you're in is clean and clear. Oh, like they keep it, um, I got you, like they keep the clutter out, or, I got you. So... Like how clean? Like no dust clean? Like there's no dust, um, that the walls wouldn't cave in on themselves if you messed with them, unless you really messed with them. Basically think of, uh, mining tunnels without the beams of, uh, holding the walls okay. up. Just yeah, I'm just okay. I'm just wondering if this is dangerous. Well, we gotta move quickly and get try to get out of here. So I mean, I feel like we, at least we know this pathway is secure a little bit. Maybe we might run into someone, but we need to keep moving. Actually, that's a good point. Like, do we have any inclination as to how much time it must have passed since we were in that room? Uh, very... I've been keeping. Uh, yes, go on. I've been keeping track of it, so I wouldn't know that, right? Yes, Rauta has been keeping track at least four hours, close to five, maybe six, if you continue to slow down. So they definitely know we are missing by now. Yeah. yeah we need to go. We need to go. All right. Uh, then you rush forward and encounter... Well, not rushing, but you don't slow down. I, I was gonna say, um, I have uh, underdark knowledge is in my history. There, I have a suspicion, and I don't know how to use it. Uh, what do you mean you have a suspicion? You said the cave is like completely clean, even no dust or nothing. All right. Um, based on how you know how the underdark works, that basically means that there's something ahead, something actually intelligent. It's not as if. Uh, the area itself has been sleeked with some type of um, invisible ooze that when it walks through, it cleans the area. No, it's like someone keeps it clean, someone keeps it prepared, and someone has structured the walls to make sure they don't cave in when people are walking okay. through. Okay. Okay, that, my, that, that kills out my suspicion. Good, good, good. Yeah, I mean, we did just walk through like a drow temple sort of a thing. Maybe this is just the other side. As you begin to wonder if this is the other side, well, <laughs> you don't wonder that long as you realize that this might be the other side. In front of you stands gates with two drow to the very right and side of the gate itself. Further south, you can tell that there's more drow, and there seems to be a strange conversation going about that. Surrounding you seems to be a bedrock structure, but you can't really tell where it might go. You can tell that it leads out to the south, but you don't really know where the south will go. But ironically, you haven't actually been going deeper into the drought territory, which is great because you really could have. That would have, yeah, that would have sucked if we got that lost in there. Mm -hmm. okay. But there's plenty of time so you don't smash into the gate and alert everyone to your presence. Yeah. So you get close, but no one is alerted. Um, mainly because I'm going to give this one to you. Hmm. But also mainly because there is actually a conversation happening to the South that people are um, distracted with. In fact, mm -hmm. the person to the South seems to resemble the man that took you most of you in. Uh, Kobo, you don't know this man, but the rest of your team does. Minus an NPC or two. Oh. Weren't there other people with that guy? There was, took us in? there was one other and a giant spider. You managed to kill the two other drow guards in the area with ease. The spider took a long time, but there's no spider here. However, you right. can uh, tell that there's a woman here. Instead of the strange, um, let's call him not so smart guard that helped him out last time. Uh, and knowing drow culture, she's likely quite strong herself. 
So one of the so the guard that helped him out last time, or the person that was with him, that helped him out last time, isn't there with him this time? Uh, correct. At least you don't see him currently. Okay, if I, I want to disguise myself like that person. Um. Okay. You are disguised again. I believe you disguised yourself as a drow before, so you're just changing to a different drow. Yeah. I want to do that, and then... Oh my gosh. We gotta get past this guy. Um, you're talking about the this guy right around here? Uh, no, the one no, the one to the farthest south uh, seems to have a strange scar mark on his body. Uh, on his face, thanks to, I believe it was Mintius. But you still need to get to the first, through the first gate. That's still a problem. That's what I was going to say. So we have to go no matter what through this gate that we are in front of. And the one, and the person that's here is looking south. This is the woman that you were talking about? Uh, the woman next to the man, uh, drow, yes. With what appears to be, um, metal plate mail. Can anybody hear what they're saying or do, what are, do, what language are they talking in? They're talking in undercommon and it is quite a distance away. Does anyone have a past perception of 18? Cause they are a distance. <laughs> Has a perception uh, not that good. Uh, Anybody have a racial trait for good hearing? It is also Elves, possible. Maybe? <laughs> like if you have a uh, superior heal, not healing, hearing, that I might be able to finagle that one and give it to you. Mm. But they are distance. They are not that close. Also, to lose like this now. Okay, so Toulouse, I can only assume that you're attempting, you're going to want to bluff our way through there? Does anyone want to simultaneously sneak, or are we all just going with the bluff? I, I, yeah, I don't know exactly how we're doing this. Um, well, depending on two big buff I fighter guys, I could try and uh, cut this wire and fashion out a couple of garrots if you want to try and take these guys out real quiet, like, but other than that, just her disguise. She's gonna have to con him. Well, if anything, because the guard guy that I look like, he wasn't the smartest person. He wasn't from what that I remember. Smart. So I'm I'm wondering if I know we got defeated by this guy last time, and he took us in. You basically. So I don't know if you guys want to buy him the spider. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to try and, you know, I maybe distract him and then we can get surprise on him and try again. Or if you guys want to wait until he disappears and then I could at least trick these guards with, you know what I mean? I don't know if you want to wait and see if he leaves in a bit or if you want to just, I can be really stupid and ditzy and cause a distraction for you guys to jump him. I could murder that guy. I don't mind helping with distractions. I mean, but I can only do some certain distractions from a certain distance, and those guys over there are pretty far. Well, I, I think what what we have to do is just get these two guards out quietly, and then we can worry about the rest of them if we can do it without alerting them. Okay, so there are two. Okay, sorry. I'm only being able to see this guy for the longest, so I had to tilt the map. I can now see this guy. Okay. Then, can you see there's a bunch of guys at the bottom too? It's somewhat, it's been, it's weird because the second I moved down there, the tokens just like... Disappear or they, they disappear or they do something really funky, so I have to like, move my map a little bit, like, constantly. But okay. I see the two that are in front of us, that's the one that I wasn't well, sure. Well, there's, 
The, there's um, the boss, there's like a, a tough elf guy that took us in last time or whatever, and the lady down there, and then there's four other guys blocking a wall at the bottom with three other guards. If, That's if what we're trying to get look, past. If you want a better look, I just screen shared. You might be able to see more of the map. So smart. Why do I always forget that those are things? <laughs> uh, uh, let me zoom out so you can actually see. Okay, uh, oh, wait, I've got you. the map set there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say I've I've, I've 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 zoomed out a little bit, but you should be able to see everything there. The guy here, the uh, guy here. Yeah, I see, I see those two for sure. Then can you scroll it down a bit, just so I can see the or the? There you go. There's okay. a lot of people there. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. You guys apparently do, but if you want to take them, I'm here with you. If we want to sneak around, I'm on for that too. Well, last time we got our butts kicked, but we were also fighting a giant, um, boy. spider? No. Spider woman? Yeah, uh, spider. So, um, so we were a little, uh, under. Question for our dogma. Uh, around the pillars, is it all blocked off completely, or can people fit through the sides of those pillars-ish? Um, like, if you were a cat, or cat size, you could fit through. At the top of the pillars, there is roughly two feet of coverage you can probably squeeze through. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. And the and the gate that's in front of us is what is it does it look like similar like the bars of the of the place that we escaped? The current bars that are standing in front of you seem to be iron, uh cast iron. It doesn't seem to have any other type of metal infused with it. Which signifies a few things, but the main thing you have to concern yourself with is that it is pure cast iron, uh, no other uh, anomalies to it, so there should not be anything magical about it. At least in the normal stance of magic. Okay. So well. If, if we distract. These two and get these two out of the way first quietly, then we might have a better, a better chance with the rest. I was gonna say, here's an odd question: um, How do we get through this, this uh, gate here in order to get to these two guys? Do we climb over the top here and then jump down on them? Well, I or... figured since I look like somebody they might be familiar with, I can get them to open the gate. And then oh yes, good idea. You okay. guys can jump then. <laughs> okay. Do but, we want to uh, do it sneaky with garats and stuff, or are you guys gonna take them out clubbing? Let's check on the stuff still. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be better for me to just tie to one side. You'd hide off to one side and I'd get them to open the gate gates. Um hmm. I mean if I were to uh present a plan, you know, uh me on one side, Minty is Minty on the other. Uh we got Riauth in the middle, we got Kobo doing sneaks up one side. And then the rest in reserve. Magic fellows. Didn't sound like a bad idea. So I just gotta get them to walk like what right here? Do I have anything on right? Yeah, just get it open. You know, I guess we'll rush them. Because if we can climb, we could get up here. There's like a two foot clearance. We're all pretty small. That's why I thought about getting the jump on them. But if she can get them on this side of the gate, then it should be easier for us to to sneak yeah. from the sides. I'll need somebody to pretend to be... Uh, well, I'm thinking maybe I can be like, hey, I need help with these prisoners and get them to come over to our side. So does somebody want to volunteer to be that person? <laughs> well, we've got uh, this lady here. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I know. I know.
this is going to be a really, really hard plan. I don't suppose you could help us out with your superior acting skills and pretend to be a prisoner in order to get the guards to come through. Maybe. And I'll be like, oh, yes, so great actress. Yes. Uh, I don't roll know where my token is. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, I don't see Toulouse on there. I was lying. Uh, Toulouse is now disguised as this drought. Oh, thank you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. That's perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had to like scroll in. Now I can read my name. Thank you. <laughs> um. So yeah. Does a uh, does um much of a calls it lady want to help us out? I, I rolled a twenty four deception. If that was what you were waiting for. No, that one was a joke. Unfortunately. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That was a good roll, too. Because I'm, oh, bravo, you're acting. So did you need me to roll? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, As Connor. Okay. I'm curious what I would roll. Where is Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, you believe Kobo? Kobo doesn't believe you. Hmm. Um, besides oh, we're that... not talking to Kobo. This is to the red-headed lady. Yeah, the, that real bigoted red-headed lady. That's why I moved okay. over there to talk yeah, to her. You know. like her, her ego, she's a nasty lady, but her ego makes her easily manipulatable. That is yeah, true. We're, we're right, using that that's, cold that's why I was saying that. Grovel and beg. Oh, uh, I, I, I knew good yeah. It's my sarcasm in there. Oh, yes, you're such a yes. great actress. Yeah, we, we need her to be the prisoner. My fair lady, hmm. would you... <laughs> that was worth for my deception twenty to get her. I was trying uh, to be that, charming, but yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I get that. It's just basically you're asking her to perform, which is fine. She's totally uh, conceited enough to do that. But you're telling her to beg, which not so much. Oh so no, 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 no! The beg, the beg part was for me because the joke is still that I have cobalt blood, so it's a cobalt racial trait to beg and cower. Ow. So the joke was for me to do that. Uh, well, she still rolled a five, even with her advantage. So uh, she simply states, I guess I can go along with this. See how one does in the Underdark. Hold on, before you do anything. And I come up to her and I tell her to put her wrists really close together and to not move them. And I want to use either minor illusion or presentation to make some manacles on her on her wrist. Uh, I think either would work in this case. But I'm letting her know to not fucking move her wrist, because then she's gonna reveal the goddamn thing. Are you gonna say it like that, or are you gonna flatter her? You don't actually have to flatter her. You just need to tell me if you uh, say it that oh, way or the other way. She's gonna flatter it. She's gonna flatter. Her. <laughs> okay, she already rolled a five, so she's just awful. Um, she just immediately believes you. Uh, she just says, she, huh, just don't tell me how to act. I know how to act. I've been a thespian for about seven years now. I just look over to Luz like, got this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I yep. give you guidance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you head forward to Luz with said prisoner in hand? Yep. Yeah, I'll head forward to the designated, like, where I want them. I want them to make their way out to here, you know? I, I'm going to say everybody like else having... needs to... Yeah, I'm going to have to move, but I'm just, oh. just assume that I'm going to be somewhere hidden because I'm trying my best to see the map. You can and maybe... she's going to love this, by the way, because I want her to pretend like she's breaking out. So eventually it will, you know, like they're going to rush over to help me capture her. So um, I want her to pretend like she's trying to escape from me and run backwards into the tunnel to get them to follow her that way. Okay, that's interesting. And okay. that's interesting. And just to give, okay, just to give you a heads up, do you have rules on a garage wire? Because that's what I'll be using if we can sneak up on them. I'm sorry, what was that? I, I didn't know if uh, a dogma had uh, rules on how to use a garage wire because I couldn't find them, but that's what I was going to be using if we could sneak up on these guards. I did not. Mm -hmm. I'll make can them up on the Can you make a trip wire? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, garage out of the tripwire. That's awesome. I've got a long tripwire here. I can use it for all sorts of things. I'm resourceful. So are the drill. Uh, besides that, that uh, you move forwards and you begin to do what? Everyone else is behind the pillars. The pillars are big enough that people can hide behind them without an issue. Even with right, this yeah. weird line. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll signal to them, to the guard, or I'll, you know, they're not looking at me, so they're like, oh, how did this guy sound, by the way? How stupid was he? You said he was dumb, but... <laughs> um, he was dumb, but he was the typical... Um, if you've ever seen early 2000s, uh, late 90s, I want to say, like, bully uh anti-bully campaigns he was like uh he's always like this secondary bully that goes yeah you tell him chuck shut up morty <laughs> and then the he's basically the background uh antagonist oh the one that just agrees with them like yeah that's right mm -hmm. <laughs> all right oh jeez. all right um so yeah i'll signal to them i'll be like oh wait I got a prisoner we need to get back through. Uh, this one moves forwards. Doesn't see anyone, thankfully enough, even without your stealth rolls. Again, big old rock. Um, but he does stay towards you, Tulu slash. I don't think he ever learned his name. Uh, Tao, what exactly are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be collecting minerals right now for your little rock collection? This is an undercommon. Oh, oh. I'm assuming you're speaking in undercommon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shit. Wait, I don't. Um, I forgot about that. I have you. Yeah, okay. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Did I do that in this game? Wait, wait, wait. Or have we not gotten that far yet? Nope. I can't do this. Level uh, three. You do know that some of them speak common? But this guy just talking in there in common. I'm okay. talking, yeah, I'm talking normally because I, I'm sorry, what were you going to say this? No, 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 do your thing, do your thing. I think it's going to, yeah, it's going to be funnier this way. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know under common, so I'm just dumb and talking normal, normal speech to them. Normal, whatever talk I know. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like normal speech. Okay. Uh... <laughs> It'll be like, you know I'm not good with our normal stuff. <laughs> All right, you say it like that, and the man and then, uh, on the I'm other gonna side. I'm going to signal for for uh, you know, the or whatever to start, you know, doing the thing, and I'm going to be like, she's been really feisty, and I found her in the thing, so I just want to get her back to the other side as quick as possible, and I'm going to signal her to start breaking, you know. All right, uh, you signal her basically, uh, kind of bumping her shoulder, and she goes. Uh, motorcycle sounds in the distance. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, um, that'd be interesting, but no, no motorcycles in this game. At least not yet. You haven't reached the surface yet. Who knows? Maybe this is techno future. Probably not. Uh, Eldith <laughs> just begins to pantomime breaking loose, and then just looks towards Toulouse slash tall. Uh, and then the other two guards and simply states, Oh, please, sir, uh, I just need to go back home. I don't mean to be a bother, but these these restraints are so, so uh, loose. And then she uh, lets loose the illusion and then begins to bolt. Uh, actually, I forgot the direction you guys are currently going, but I think it's south. So th she goes north. Okay, and I'll go, whoa. Help us. <laughs> uh, to Help me. <laughs> roll persuasion. <laughs> You've got guidance. I gave you guidance. <laughs> okay. um, you can also now tell that Aldeth is a terrible thespian. Oh, did you say I got guidance? Does that yep. mean I get a to D4. roll again? Or D4? Is uh, that a D4? Yeah. Um... Oh, I did not do that right at all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One, two, four. There we go. Oh, me. Aww. 
to 15. I... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Where is she going? Uh, you ham it up as much as she did. Uh, and the two just look at you and goes, uh, in under common again, I think a couple of you speak under common. So yeah. while yeah. Toll slash Sluice doesn't speak or understand, uh, the guy simply states, she's going back to the encampment site. Obviously, she's not going to get that far. So you might want to get going. I want to use presentation to whisper, to make sounds in the in this one's ear of of more noises of what looks like what sounds like chaos coming from the direction that the uh, that uh, that that uh, our little racist friend is going to. Okay. I um... forget to mention, I she had some other people with her. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and I'm making it clear that it sounds like people are like fighting or something. It's, it's supposed to be like that kind of sound in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering the degree of emergency that you just created. Uh, to lose roll persuasion, advantage. Thanks to persuasion. Roslyn's. Oh, let me click the right thing then, and let me click persuasion. Oh. You hear some clacking, some bashing, and some strange thudding sounds. Oh, this might have just hit a brick. Uh, but besides that, you do see that they are more or less panicked. And then this one to the, well, Royals when pointed towards and cast magic, then goes, oh, this is a problem. He just left too. Um, Roz, go and get, go and get his help. Maybe he can get the priestess to help as well. Oh, it's going to be a pain if someone gets out. Uh, you see the one to his right slash left uh, directions heads further south and this one begins to open the door slash gate. Do you do anything in the meantime? It doesn't take that I long. I, I think we want to wait until he gets out, right? Or at least get outside of the gate. Well, it, um, he, we're gonna he's have going to have a lot more people alert. than we intended. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to alert all these people to come rushing, so our idea of taking out those two guards quietly just kind of choked a Backward. little. But so we need to get work. through this gate to attack them or go back the way we came, and I don't know. It could work as a funneling system. Like, you know, we're going to take this one guy down and then perhaps... You know, yeah, yeah, that, that's a, that is an it, awesome bottleneck, but we have to get him to open the gate first. What? He is. We got that part down. Okay. I'm just asking, uh, like, when he's trying to open the gate, do you do anything? For me, um, I'm just going to, uh, you know, we, I guess, you know, back, start backing up a bit, but not too much. I guess just getting prepared to jump him. Okay. Because everything went to shit. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> well, ah. He begins to open the door without an issue, and he just looks at you, tall slash Toulouse. Uh, in under common, everyone else can hear. You can you can hear, just don't understand. Tall, when I get done with this, I'm going to come after you, and then I'm going to make sure you die. He opens the gate. It swings yes, forward. Nice, very nice. <laughs> uh, crosses path with you, and with his tunnel vision, because you rolled well and didn't want to punish you, and then him see immediately your team. Um, but he has a tunnel vision of going after Aldeth. So he immediately bolts straight through everyone's, uh, threat range. Uh, basically giving everyone an attack of opportunity. You don't want to change okay. it. Yeah. Are, we, are we rolling, uh, are we rolling initiative or? Uh, you, you can roll initiative, uh, to see who does what first. Yeah. That is how initiative functions. I did not want to go first. That's enough. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, I wanted to go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't put you in initiative order. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. I just put myself in. I think, but I'm just gonna change it to what it was. Uh, it didn't put you and uh, Mint for some reason. Oh no! I'm, oh, I okay. Well, no, I've already okay. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, can I hold my attack of opportunity until a sneaky person goes? No. All right, then I throw a spear at him. You throw a spear. I I rolled pretty bad on that initiative thing. Throwing a spear at him, you do manage to get his side before he actually gets too far away. Uh, spearing in for him for six points of damage, you can tell he's quite hurt. Not bloodied, but maybe one-fourth of his health. Uh, he doesn't have anything long range, so he just stands there. Uh, Turby and Topsy lost their um, only dagger, so they stand there. Stool and yeah. Shashar uh, don't really fight, so... Towel. Toulouse. Um, just to use my dagger. And do I get sneak attack? Uh, technically, oh, since okay. he doesn't know you're technically an enemy. Okay, so I, did I roll that right? Or? There's also someone next yeah. to you, like, five feet away. Oh, okay. So then I get to do this damage and sneak attack damage, right? Yes, 21 definitely does it. Cool. Dagger damage and sneak attack damage. As he begins to I'm run like, away, what you me? <laughs> notices that Gothos is in the corner just chucking a spear. He turns towards <laughs> Toll slash Towel. Sometimes he pronounces it Towel. Uh, and he begins to shout at him before he just gets a dagger sunk into his, the middle of his forehead. And he just hits the ground. I go get my dagger back. <laughs> that was pretty shot, good. Grab the dagger and rush back. Yeah, fuck. Nice. I wish that guy didn't get away. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I guess we can all group up and... No, that would be dumb. Currently, um, uh, the guard that went south hasn't arrived yet. Honestly, that was less than a second. Uh, well, like, maybe three seconds. Um, if, if one of you guys are pretty good at throwing and I pull out the vial of grease that we got from earlier... Maybe we can use this to really make some severe damage up front. And I just kind of look at people seeing if anybody knows how to... I mean, I would probably know how to prepare like a Molotov co like, cocktail, but I don't know if like... There's certain if rules we grab around this, that. Okay. that. That's a pretty good idea. Where would we grease though? Where place? Oh no. Like if we if grab... Well, I mean, okay. it, it could either be turned into grease, which would be in the actual thing of grease, so like it's a certain area, or I was thinking of just throwing it kind of like a bomb. <laughs> Preparing yeah, like, a... like, that would be really cool if when, if a lot of them like bottled up, like in, you know, said like this area, and you can throw it out like maybe a group of them at once, but that would only work if, you know, they all actually did that. That would be like a chance. I see, I see your point. Okay, good point. Okay. But that would be where I would idea like, but it would also probably cause a, um, we have to get through too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Can I grab my spear off this guy and does he have the keys? If, yeah. uh, I was going to say the gate is open, but if we grab this guy and hide him out of the way and we all go back to hiding, they might just run through the gates down towards the racist lady and not even notice us just like this guy did. Uh, potentially. Um, that being said though, he does not have the keys. The keys are stuck within the gate. You just need to grab so it from the on gate. the gate. Yes. Okay. Um, but as you begin to contemplate what to do with the dead body, as one would in a 90s uh, summer camp horror story, you just hear in the distance someone shouting, What do you mean a thespian left into the caverns? <laughs> <laughs> someone got a sound for me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm hmm. <laughs> what about this cave thing up here? Is this a cave thing? Can we go hide up there? As you look around the corner, you can tell that there's a cave system to the side. It does have an overhang, so it does give plenty of shadow. However, it doesn't seem to have anything too, um, like too fanciful. It isn't like another cave going further in. It's an overhang that if you hide really well, 
you might be able to not be spotted. Uh, even if you're not hiding really well, it does give you great cover regardless. I mean, you guys want to head up there real quick at least? Um, if we can hop there before they get by, they might all run into here, and then we can just lock it behind them and run. If you don't um, want to fight, I don't know how this guy is. You've fought him before, I haven't. I'm game for that, and we can hide the body real quick, too. Okay. Just kind of go over and... And who cares about how crazy race this lady? <laughs> this way up for Mintia's yeah. I mean, you told her to run. She has not stopped. I know, I guess. If you guys want to tell her to come back, go for it. But otherwise, kids, get around the corner and I'll rush the kids around with me. I'll grab all of them and head up into the under lip of that thing where we want to hide. All right. Um, yeah. uh, do you take Mintius too? Is he, is he, is he having... Huh? Mintius looks like a child. He's looks kind of 12? 15? Oh, but I know he's not a kid, right? No. Like, I you wouldn't, do not. I wouldn't... I I know have... he's rippling with muscles. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Like, we've been You've... in... We were in that one place together, You know he can right? handle Before himself? Up with a kid. You know he can handle himself? You just don't know if he's not a child or not. You... It well, feels no, awkward I to ask. He... Well, I know he didn't join up with me when these kids did. He was with my party beforehand, right? Or yes. no? Yes, but I've never revealed that yeah. Uh, yeah. there's an adult, actually. Yeah. You know that outside of character. And whether he's a child or not, he's still an effective combatant. Well, if you were over with the... Yeah, then yeah, I would ask if you wanted to go over there. Or, you know, I would try to hurdle you over there with the kids then. I was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I would grab the body, try and stash it somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Toulouse, you also know that Mantis can actually take care of themselves, so whether they're a kid okay, or not, they're very dangerous. <laughs> Alright, then I'll just leave him to his own resources. I know. I'm like, alright. <laughs> not a part of the weird mushroom kids that are, ran off with our dagger for three minutes or whatever <laughs> an hour and a half you they almost died <laughs> i know those are, okay yeah those are the ones that i'm you know concerned about yeah uh so mentees you grab the body what do you do then mm, is the way the dwarf is going is that like a downward slope uh it's <laughs> More or less a downward slope. It's going up in an incline, but it's not like so much that you could just toss it and it continued to slide. Unless you tossed it really, really hard. Unless he had some assistance. Yeah, I was about to ask that. <laughs> Potentially, yeah. <laughs> I will assist. Hands and feet. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hands at 10 and 2. And a 1. And a 2. And uh, huck this drow down the tunnel. Roll athletics. <laughs> should leave the I'm assisting right there at the edge of it. <laughs> With advantage. Oh no. Uh, my <laughs> character is okay. screwed um, up. All. It honestly depends on what you're trying to do. So an 11 can do something. What are you trying to do with the body? Just chuck it down that way, because that's where the fighting was happening. Uh, that's easy enough done. It's not going to slide too far. It's going to get in front of Aldith, though. So the body just gets chucked a good distance and lands in front of her. As that happens, she looks towards your team and says something underneath her breath. You could probably tell something around the lines of mongrels, blah, 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 blah. But she now knows that uh, the distraction is no longer needed. So congratulations, she comes back to the group. She did that on purpose. <laughs> no, we did But it, you didn't throw that far. <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to kind of aim for her. I was hoping for a better role. <laughs> I, I would have given to you. I would have given it if it was a 14, but an 11 is an 11. Right. I, that's what I was kind of hoping. Or something a little better than that 11 to chuck the body right at her. Yeah. <laughs> she deserves it. Yeah. Alright. 
Uh, do you guys make your way towards mm -hmm. Toulouse, or do you try to um, pin yourself to the wall and I see if they go through? It. Well, I thought we were going to close the gate after they ran through. Yeah, so we all, if we can, yeah, we all so we're here tonight. So where, where you, is it that we're going? Are we in on on the on the north side of the of the gate or to the south side of the gate? Toulouse managed to get to the north side of the gate without an issue. Uh, currently, the person that shouted, what do you mean a thespian went into the caverns, um, is arguing with the guard that came over here now. It's not subtle, but you do hear some choice words. Um, but they are currently distracted for maybe another round. So yeah, yeah everybody right. needs to come running if we're going to do that gate thing. Yeah. So here? Okay. All right. Uh, Gothos, what are you going to do? Mintius, what are you going to do? Me. Me, what am I going to do? Uh, also mm -hmm. me, what am I going to do? Um, everyone went that way, so all all rich goes with the rest of the team. So, uh, that was your secondary action. So then the team moves forward. You're not exactly sure who this guy is, Kobo, but he seems very, very dangerous. The rest of the team, um, did make mention here and there that him and like a giant spider woman which you know as a dra uh, drider and another person that looks like Toulouse took down uh, most of the entire party so he's not weak but he's not unbeatable but it's probably not a good idea to fight him in home field advantage but like just 12 guys. <laughs> but the onslaught of group members Head into the tunnel system um, and continue to move forwards. You do realize that one of them shouts in undercommon about a dead body, and the others simply continue to press forwards without incident. At least, not yet. Oh. I want to lock the gate. It, yeah, and I'll let everybody know what they said. Undercommon. All right. Can okay, um, I help close the gate and Toulouse locks it because she's got the key? Toulouse is able to lock it just fine. Um, she does need help closing it because it, it is very, very heavy. Yeah, that's that's why I'm over here. Oh, Gothos is here too. And most of you are considered small creatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so with the help of all three of you, you do manage to get things done. Um, for the sake of potentially needing this token again, I'm going to put him in the to put him in the token layer. Um, but I'm just going to put him in the corner. And besides um, that, once, when, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, but besides that, you do manage to get a close locking it without making too much of a noise or sound. Now that it's locked, oh, go ahead. Which is great. That's all I was going to say. Oh, okay. I was going to say, now that it's locked, break the key off so they can't reopen it. <laughs> Should we, like, make sure that that key no, is what if the key no good for anything else? No, what if the key needs to open other gates? Yeah. Oh, no, in that case, I don't know, some other way to stop it so they can't reopen it? I don't know. I don't know. A I bunch of wire run. jammed in there? <laughs> okay. Uh, um, okay, yeah. Um, how about a metal bar? wire or my uh, fork shank to try and break the lock once it's once it's locked. I mean, the fork shank might do it, but it's a fork. Um, the wire could possibly mess with the tumbler system in the lock. Um, but you'd be foregoing about a good, a good portion of the wire, maybe, maybe five feet. Got 130 feet, five feet, fine. And then, um, so. Are we just gonna head down then? Yeah. yeah. You still look like one of those foul creatures. Yeah. What do is this? Um. Oh, sorry. What? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Essentially, just do what you're doing. Uh, I was just saying, what are these guys down here on the other side of the gate? The other side of the gate seemed to be three. Very highly skilled and trained guards. Maybe not at the level of that guy that just left. But 
they are highly qualified themselves. The reason why they didn't leave is probably because they're the, on the other side. Um, but besides that, they do seem to be highly uh, trained warriors rather than spellcasters. Okay. All right. Um, do you guys want to just try to power through them or? Um, do we have to get that gate open to get through it or can we fit through it or can we come them onto this side just to get it open? Once again, this Otherwise, uh, bar right. seemed to be out of cast iron once more, but on a larger scale. This one seems to be quite fitted to the grooves and patterns of the wall system. Uh, so there's really no getting around it. However, you can tell that surrounding the area does seem to be... Um, the best way I can describe it is seems to be broken off pieces here and there of various lining walls. As if something is, or something had, uh, basically ripped through the bedding of the rock and come here at one point or another. So you could probably go through those holes that they've made, but you don't know exactly know where they'll go. Wait, I, Toulouse, how many times can you disguise yourself? Right, um... How does my thing work? I think it lasts yeah. for an hour, doesn't it? Disguise spell. Link oh, but you can only do it once? No, I thought I can. This isn't it. It's because I'm an arcane trickster. How does that work again? I forget. You should you. have spell slots for it, I think. Yeah, but she's level 3, so it's probably only one or two. Oh, okay. I was gonna say if there's a chance now that you saw the guy that the, the, that's probably leading the, the crowd here, if you can disguise yourself as him, I can get into their heads and make them think that you're you're him, and maybe they'll want to come in here. We can do some sort of I don't know like an ambush. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And I do. I have I have disguised self twice, so I've used it. I used it earlier, didn't I? Did we ever have a long rest after I used it the first time? Uh, you um, took a uh, short rest. And whoever knows Undercommon, shouldn't they know that Toulouse is already recognized? Like, they knew who Toulouse was imitating as well. Yeah. Um, I can translate that if nobody else knows Undercommon. It's like, yeah, they did know that you were somebody called Towel. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. it. I mean, uh, uh... Um, short rest doesn't mean I don't get any spell slots back, though, do I? Yeah, no, it's a long rest, man. Okay. So I can only be this guy for right now, so, I mean, I can definitely try that, like, uh, like we did last time. Um, you know, get them to open it up for us, or no, I have the keys now, so, I mean, if anything, I could just walk over and be, like, passing through and see if that works. Do you guys want to try that? Yeah, if the key does work on that, we just need to get through the gate so they don't have a separation between us and them. And I think we can take them out. Okay. Yeah, I'll head up with, um, you know, like, whoever wants to go up with me to make this attempt. And you guys pretend to be prisoner again to head through and we can get the surprise on them. Let's allow our meat child, I mean, the, uh, uh, the lady in front. I was yeah, I was gonna say either that or does anybody know the name of Scary Scar Guy? He never told us his name. He never okay. told his name. Also, I want to suggest the kids uh, go hide, um, you know, somewhere for the time being, where they can easily follow us. Though, once we need to make our move through the gate, I don't know if that. Where can we, where can we put the little kid behind the rock? Maybe? Is that a big rock? It is a big rock, yes. It's about yeah, the can size we shuffle, of the little ones. It's about can the we size. shuffle around the sides and like have them hide over here? Uh, yeah. But just the just the squishy kids that we don't want to have die on us. Yeah, I was gonna say um we're... potentially the squishy kids. <laughs> uh, and her. Or the squishy kids and antidote. 
or the squishy yeah. kids, uh, minus stool, and Shashar. Nah, I put uh, stool in there. Stool's valuable. I think, yeah, and because uh, other people can hide here to back a little further, but if they're non combatants, they can come running over once a fighting's done. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Antigo would go protect to make sure the kids are safe. Uh, yeah, Shashor we is not a fighter, so he'll go in the corner. Um, He's you're gonna, gonna have help us act again, right? We're gonna have the persuader this time, mainly because <laughs> uh, Minty has threw a dead body at her to oh. call her back. At least that's the way she thinks it happened. Thinks we called her back. <laughs> I mean, what more clear signal does she? Uh, so persuasion, you said? Yeah. Um, can I help to give her advantage? Uh, not really in this case. Okay. <laughs> but she's so smart and kind. Persuasion? <laughs> you did so well before. Would you mind doing it again? Uh, let's see. Even with her modifier, she just rolls a 13. Uh, so she looks at you and simply states, All right, if I have to, but I'm not going to do it a third time. I do need to rest my vocal cords. Understandable. And this time we don't, you don't, we don't need you to run too far. We're going to jump them pretty early on. So, um, I think... Does she have something to fight with? Can yeah, we give she's her a fighter, right? She has a spear. Okay. Okay. So we'll put her spear just... somewhere where she can run to that and grab that to join the fight. How about that? Like, we'll put her spear right here. Mm, this rock. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And, uh, these, these drow characters at the at the gate there, they're facing away from the gate? Um, kind of. It's hard to tell, but you can tell that they have a peripheral vision upon one another. But they are, in fact, uh, looking towards the egg other side. So they're not looking towards you, but they also have a look at one another. So if something happens to one, the others are alerted. Mm -hmm. now, are they within, oh, I don't know, arm's reach um, of the king? Maybe a medium-sized creature's arm's reach. <laughs> there is no difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now we'll stick with the blood. Uh, Alrich might be able to grab them, or anyone within five and up feet. A couple of people with garrots. I saw discrimination right there. <laughs> technically, Ment is classified as a medium-sized creature. Mm, well, technically, you said he was low, shorter than five feet. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> Well, am oh. I wrong? No, seriously, am I wrong? I kind of don't remember the height. No, he is shorter oh. than five feet, but okay. he's still classified as a medium creature. So worst can be as low as four feet, and they classify as medium creatures. Okay. Um, if you're trying to strangle them, you're gonna have to be taller than five feet, as I'm gonna say. Uh, it's fine. Or if somehow get up on their back. Kind yeah. of, yeah. Um, but... We're going to stack each other up to go strangle them from behind. <laughs> I'm not saying you well, can't. You just need to get height. Stack, guys. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, I can get height. As long as I can get 10 feet on them. Are you going to try to rush over there, jump, and tr do it in one swift motion? Um, well, I should be able to take a 10-foot lead, jump up to my strength 13 feet. So theoretically, I could get up to 13 plus 3 is 16 feet high. Definitely don't need to get that high. Just need a little bit of a jump just to jump on their backs. Or we can try and find another way to take them out because if nobody else has garage, so we're just, you know, attacking then. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible, but if you decide to do that, there's still the option of two others. Yeah. 
well, I figured there's a bunch of us here. We're going to be a attacking all three of the guards at once. They can see each other. Oh, you want to definitely have the gate open. If that's not open, then we can do that. Was, <laughs> that, that was the question I had posed earlier, is just how do we open the gate? Uh, there I'm is a key system. You just don't know if it's the same key. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go attempt it. I'm going to take this yeah, risk of going up there. If my key doesn't work, I'm going to be like, hey, guys, uh, I think I got the wrong key again. Uh, can, you, um, can you help me out here? Uh, Toulouse, but, uh, you do have a key ring with three separate keys. Uh, you just don't know which one's this key. Yeah. <laughs> And that was that was my acting. So no, I'm just going to goblin <laughs> is the last resort, Minty. It's been not going that route just yet. Unless you want it. Peek down here, close to those pillars. Oh, is throwing the goblin special, not a fastball every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's special, it, especially if it kills someone. <laughs> it's like trying to throw me through this the grate like a mince thing. I mean, it can work. It's gonna okay. happen. Just don't force it. It'll <laughs> happen. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Toulouse, do you move forwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the gate thing. That's what I... Where am I at? There I am. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I go up and I try the key and see if one works. All right, you get closer to the system of mechanisms and then you try the key, didn't work. Try another key, didn't work. At that point, one of the guards just looked at, towards you. Uh, they just simply state, what exactly are you doing? I need to get through. And I keep trying the next key. Uh, he just looks at you. Uh, you try the last key, it doesn't work. Are you an... No, yes, you are. You are an idiot. Those key only <laughs> opens the secondary gate and any shackles or bindings on any prisoners. Do you really... Did you really lose your key again, Tao? Yeah, I, I put my keys away. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought maybe these would have worked, but I did. I lost my other set of keys again. Uh, you just hear the one next to him uh, simply states, uh, I still have no idea where Jerlon wants to even bother keeping you with him. Uh, but it is his mother's last request, so I suppose they decided to keep you along. Now then, I'm assuming this is the only one you have with you. I doubt they'd trust you with more than one prisoner this um, time. Since the last um, time... You had two, one pantsed you, and the other one stabbed you in the neck? Well, um, I might be back through in a little bit. I have some um, around the other gate, but um, that's... Yeah, I gotta get this one through first before I can get the other ones through. I have to go back for them. You just see him rolls his eyes and goes back to his position, but the one in the middle then rolls his eyes as well. Uh, but then gets out a uh, cast iron key and begins to unlock it. <sighs> so where are you taking this one now? Back to the same place? It's very uncommon for our prisoners to come back out. Yeah. We still, yeah. After all, we still have a day until the mass transport tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. I thought that was the day after tomorrow. That's tomorrow, isn't it? <sighs> Thankfully enough, we'll get rid of these individuals and get some fresh new meat. After all, sacrifices only come once every full moon. For obvious reasons, of course. Of, of course. Yep, for well, obvious. Uh, you then sense. see him begin to open the lock system. Uh, to lose roll deception. Because you have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> no. I'm all like, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to give you advantage thanks to her terrible thespian work, but uh, you don't need it. So he just simply nods. Uh, you can clearly tell that this person isn't well-liked, and 
might not be the smartest uh, person around. So even if he didn't know, uh, he doesn't see any indifference. But uh, poor choice of sentence structure there. But he does begin to open it, and it does swing uh, forwards towards your direction. He opens it enough that you and this dwarf woman are able to ag exit as he holds on to one side of the gate to allow you through. I'm going to signal um, to my team like um, like a like a hand like a just to put my hand like a stop motion like on the don't jump them yet because I'm sure they heard me talking to them about how I said I was going to come back with more right uh, yeah we were all about to yep. jump right in there yep 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 okay. Okay. so um, I'm going to walk this lady through around the corner until I, I know that those guards can't see us and like Oh, that makes no sense. I guess leave her over there and come back for more people? Uh, okay. You bring her in the corner. Or can I ask them to keep watch of her? Yeah, can I put her off to the side and be like, eh, can you guys just do me a solid and watch her while I go get the rest? Because I just, yeah, I just really messed up a lot today. I need some help. <laughs> Uh, roll deception with advantage because they know whatever person this person is. Oh, I forgot to turn the advantage on. Oh, oh, oh wow. Um, you see the third one that hasn't said anything comes over and just keeps an eye on her. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't belittle you. Yeah, don't don't worry. If she gives you any problems, don't don't. You know, you know how it is. <laughs> Feel free to rough her up. <laughs> Cracks his knuckles, but says nothing. Uh, but only if she acts up. Yeah. And then I go back to the gate, and I go through, and I head off to, you know, where I know that they, I'm out of range of them, and I tell everybody, like, hey, I think you can funnel us through or something. Okay. Like... As you make your way back in discussing... um. Hey, they can funnel us through. Does anyone have a pass perception of 14? Nope, 13. Yeah, but, oh, it's crap. Freaking Audrey's not with us. Great. I mean, he's technically with you. Yeah, I think Ulrich has the highest. Uh, let's see. Ulrich. Um. Da -da -da -da. He's like a 15 or something like that. He has a pretty good one. Um, it's not 18, but it's not 13. So it tells you nothing. Um, <laughs> as that happens, you can see him basically bolting towards this area, collects uh, Shishar, bolts with the kids, collects the kids, comes over here, and then tells everyone to get into the corner. Something is about to happen. You can see strange figures in the distance in the weird grooves in the walls that you were described to before. And I have told all the freaking spear that was left over there, so that way that's we have an extra weapon with this at the very least. Um, can I try to go grab it? Uh, Let me just understand the situation really quick. You can quickly. grow There's acrobatics coming to out of the wall. rush, grab, and come back. Uh, 15 is good enough to get there, but you can tell you won't be able to get, make it back in time. Do you still try to grab it? Leave it then. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a way to get it or something, but yeah, stay with us for now. It's crazy. It's so, there's some, <laughs> so there's something coming out of the wall, and why are we not getting on the other side of the big gate? Alright, uh, well, this is basically that instance he gets there. Which means that you literally have no time to get to the other side. Okay. So, as soon as that happens, these strange creatures begin to burrow through the holes that they made beforehand. However, this time they don't not not get here. Language. Uh, they don't <laughs> simply leave. They go through the holes and then you see a whole bunch of demonic creatures appear out of nowhere through the grooves. And then you see the drow guards bolt in. Basically, kick open uh, the gate 
leave the drow. No, he's going to try to stab her. Uh... <laughs> really? That's funny. If he can't actually watch over her, he's going to try to kill her. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 plus modifier. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, uh, he stabs her straight through and she goes down to the ground. She's not dead, but she's not going anywhere. Not well. <laughs> but these three drow begin to defend against whatever these things are. They are completely occupied as these strange creatures, not from the Underdark, begin to pounce on them. Yeah, we're meant to... Let's, uh... <clears throat> let's go? Go, go, yeah. go, go. Yep, let's go. Alright, um, as you begin to go, you can tell that the first group begins to come back. We can <laughs> run! <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> Did we worry about Dwarf Lady? She's not I dead, but she is hurt. She would need help. Damn it. She would need to be carried. If anybody wants, if anybody wants to help her, they can. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna just haul her on my back and charge off oh, after the rest. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh... I, I try and shut the gate with Gothos here as we get through. And the lock I... them there. Trapped. Oh. This thing is massive. Um, you're gonna have to roll pretty well. Even with all three of you. Uh, I'm gonna give whoever's doing the job for guidance. So, whoever's right. doing it. Uh, thanks to all huh? four of you trying to go there, it's possible. Um, 22? Are you gonna use guidance, Gothos? Yeah, sure. Uh, no, 1d4. Cool. 25. Uh, you needed an 18. You just overkilled it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welded that shit closed. <laughs> <laughs> so you close it, but you honestly have no time unless you want to get caught up in the fight to mess with the pillar system. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's bounce. Yep, we out. All right, I'm going to copy. And as you begin to make your way south for some time, you do see that the fighting behind you seems to be highly dangerous. At a certain point, you can tell that the first protruding group that left uh, your team alone and went into the fighting area that your first trap led in seems to basically uh, crawl over the two foot gap system on top to join in the fight, but it does take them a while. In the meantime, oh, while they were done. doing that, it does kill off two of the drows. So, yeah. uh, depending on how you feel about killing drow, eh, I'll leave that up to you, but they're not exactly good people. Other than killing more the or people less... who, like, two weeks ago enslaved us? Yeah. No, we're alright. <laughs> let, let them. Let them do them, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, although the one that did actually help out uh, Toulouse still remains alive. Who knows for how long, but they still remain alive as the next group comes in to help. Uh, one of the drow collects the spear and begins to use it as a weapon. So that spear is gone unless you really want to get back. I don't think she needs it right now. <laughs> she's lucky enough she got a ride. <laughs> she's, she's got her place in the group. Heading toward Be the south chill. direction, you do make it into the tunnel system. However, there is a north tunnel, a west tunnel, and a south tunnel as you make your way through. Uh, do you go north, south, or west? Well, let's do something we didn't do last time. Let's examine hard? the ways. Oh, yeah, ask the NPCs. <laughs> yeah, ask them. <laughs> um, as you begin to ask, hey, which way, hey, which way, uh, you can tell that stool feels the sensation of water uh, towards the west area. Uh, Shishar nods in agreement. Uh, Topsy Turvy have no idea they're children. They don't exactly know their way around things. <laughs> they can scout forwards to see, but uh, they don't exactly have a compass. Uh, Stool, however, can't tell or sense any um, 
mushrooms around them, so they can't really discern their current destination. They just can feel moisture in the air heading towards the west direction. What does the western tunnel look like? The western tunnel seems to have a strange uh, moss-like structure. It's similar to how when uh, water is evaporating in the area or has been in the area for some time, moss begins to grow on the rocks, usually on the north end of said rocks. But <laughs> not in this case. For some reason, a lot of the moss seems to be overlapping as if there's a lot of water uh, that was formerly here that immediately burst out of nowhere, causing the area to be overgrown. I'm to. Do any of the tunnels obviously lead up or down in a in a in a more of an incline than the rest? Uh, the north tunnel heads up at an incline. Uh, the northern tunnel seems to have a strange, uh, cracking groove system. It's not a dangerous like um, if you step on this crack, uh, lightning immediately shoots out of it. It seems like dry. Uh, ground as similar to when a vol active volcano is in the area or um, no actual moisture is in the area so the ground begins to become brittle and breaks but it does head into a northern up incline since everybody uh, do you want to investigate the south one sure Okay, uh, Mentius, as you investigate the south entrance area, you can tell that it does have a strange uh, groove pattern in it. It seems to have minerals as if it at one point could have been a uh, mining shaft, maybe, but it's not anything truly apparent. It just has flakes of, uh, I forget the actual scientific name, but let's just call it fool's gold because that's what I remember right now. And small, All right. uh, thank you. And Jeez. small particulates of uh, ruby dust. Uh, so here are your three options with the descriptions you have been given: a old tunnel mining facility, perhaps a potential water source, perhaps, or a dry desert environment, perhaps. Yeah. I gotta vote towards the water. Uh, we already have one water specialist with uh, Tushan or whatever it is over here. And we met a water guy earlier who owes us a favor. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going for. Um, the only thing I can think of is mine shafts generally have air vents that reach the surface, but uh, that's all we would have to go on trying to go through the mines. I mean, that's potentially possible, but. Uh... This is also the this is also the underdark, so they might just lead to, well, it might lead to a city, which might be helpful. This is far enough away from the drow area that it might lead you somewhere else instead of the drow environment, but it could also lead you to even more danger. Okay, would I know anything about the underdark there being from there? Uh, you know, yes. I... Um, you do know that. Mining systems aren't that uncommon. However, they are not exactly the best areas. You know that uh, most of the facilities of underdark mining shafts seem to go with the uh, Duergar, the under, under, under common, uh, the underdark dwarves. They are generally. Uh, to not mince words, batshit, crazy, angry, uh, f very furious to most any and all strangers. Yeah, they literally lack a sense of humor. If you have okay, money, yeah. they will deal with you, but your team currently has no money. And in that case, I go ahead and say, yeah, the mines could be dangerous because of the very unpleasant, uh, uh, underdark dwarfs. Uh... The racist Al Death then continues. Uh, the Duragar. Duragar. Makes me yeah. wonder why we didn't just exterminate them when they ran away. Hey, if you don't shut up, I will drop you here. Oh wait, she's <laughs> unconscious. Uh, 
<laughs> she doesn't say a thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. She just has racist dreams. Exactly. Talking in her sleep. Uh, I, I mean, oh, yeah. you're the one that wanted a carrier. No. <laughs> She's talking in her sleep. Oh, well, geez. you know, if there's a big monster and it's hungry, we have food for it. <laughs> Antidote just raises an eyebrow, but says nothing. Well, you never know. We might be able to tame it. It <laughs> might prefer dwarf. Uh, Antidote then states, potentially, we could also prefer human or um, some other foreign meat. He looks, he's like looking over the group. Uh, probably not. Uh, gross. Uh, <laughs> some other meat. As the only, you know, cow in <laughs> this group. <laughs> Technically true. Um, Were we talking about eating mushrooms before? Uh, talking about mushrooms before, stool can connect to several, uh, I'm gonna butcher it. My Mycanoid. Mycanoid uh colonies. But he can't really sense any in the area. So there's no way he can tell. Oh, and still I thought maybe since we got closer. I still okay. say we go for the water. Yeah, down. same. Down, down, down. Uh West's water. West water, okay. Let's go. Okay. You head west into an area that seems to be strange, but not uncommon. You peer through the side, and you do see it's that the water is here, leading into a what appears to be waterfall. You go around, and you can tell that there's a large amount of magma at the far end of the waterfall. More magma. <laughs> so the waterfall is falling onto magma? Uh, yes. You're currently at the edge of the waterfall and it's falling down into the magma pool system. You can tell, however, that this is new. The moss that basically overgrew in the cave system you just went through, probably because of the heat and water surrounding it in almost an instant, uh, in a moment. And we're at the top of the waterfall or the bottom? You're at the top of the waterfall at the very edge of it. Um, it's not a very far jump, but it's enough of a jump that you would get hurt. If you go into the water system, ironically enough, uh, you would probably be dealt less damage, but you'd also be wet. That's alright, I, I got something for that. Um, if we all go, how many, wait, how many of us are there though? Never mind. Um, a lot of you are small, so I think if this is what you're gonna do, uh, some of some people can carry other people. So I've got feather fall. It can affect up to five creatures. That's at first level. I'm jump near the truck if at second level. It, hold on. Uh, Shashar is big. He can carry three people. Uh, probably the kids minus Mantius. If I had um. If we had a rest, I'd have Feather Fall too, but um, without a rest, I can't use it. Uh, based on Mintius' <laughs> strength, he could probably carry another person. Alrich's height, he could probably carry another person. Uh, Antidote could probably carry another person, but everyone else, probably not. But currently, Mintius is already carrying a person. Yeah, I'll carry whoever else. <laughs> And is this a strength ch ch check? What what kind of check is this? Um, if you have a strength of thirteen, you can carry another person. I can carry another person. Uh, uh, enough that yeah. you would hit the ground without trouble. Now, once you hit the ground and actual gravity takes effect, you'll probably have to put them down. Uh, or if you don't, it'll probably body slam them. <laughs> how how much of a distance is it? From the top to the bottom? Uh, 80 feet. So it's high, 
But feather fog would definitely help. No, it would. I'm just trying to figure out if like if one is enough. Because if not, then what I can do is I, at least five would be equivalent of five can jump first with me, and then once I'm down there, I can cast it again with whoever's left. Okay. As long um, as I'm within six feet, I can cast it again to somebody else. Shushar is very big and very tall. He can carry three individuals. Mintius uh, currently has a nearly dead body on their person. Uh, you would be one of them. Not the dead person. You would be a person that uh, would have Featherfall on them. Alrich could probably carry... Uh, I'm going to say Kobo in this instance. Antidote could... Uh, no. Antidote would probably just be carried by Gothos to make it funnier. Uh, and Talise could go on her own. So that would be six that's people exactly. total. Oh, six? One. So, yeah. So let's... Um, just for the sake of... Uh, let me see. So I'll... Let me take, uh, see, myself and the team, and I'll and I'll use and I'll take the kids and and Stu and the others as a second party, just to be safe. Uh, so how many people can you target, including yourself? So it's five, but I can cast it twice. That's why I'm going first or in the first group, because as long as I'm within sixty feet, I can cast it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah. Um, once you cast it, levels, you might be able to. Say, once you cast it, it's a fire and forget. So you can cast it on five other people, let them jump down that's the 80 exactly feet. Exactly what I'm saying. And then you'll be that's, in the second group. Well, I don't need to be in the second group as long as I'm in the first one. Because he's saying that it's 80 feet high. So that means yeah, that, and your range for that spell is only 60 feet, so once correct. you're at the bottom, you that's can't cast it on the people at the top. No, as long as they're within the 60 feet, so as they start jumping, it won't be cast, but as soon as they're within 60 feet, I can. Yeah, you can just hit them on the fall. Exactly. So that's okay. what I'm saying. I need to be down there. So, yeah. So I'll cast it at my last first level for the first five which would be like the first five that i see in, in the order that i see it right now which is like myself to lose i guess antidote if he's carrying um gothos i had to make it funnier gothos is carrying him awesome and um either I mean, I... either mintias with with the body or or kobo uh, with uh, um with aldridge Whoever, it doesn't really matter. So it, that's my point. Like, I'll pick those five first. We go down there. And then I tell the others, just just jump. I, I'll catch you. I promise. And then I cast the second one. But at second level, it won't add any creatures. But it'll, I can cast it again. All right. Without too much of an issue, you are able to catch feather, catch, uh, cast feather fall upon yourself. As you hit the uh, close to the ground, you do cast it again. And then the others do feel the sensation. Uh, Eldritch basically footballs, uh, oh man, I forget the carrying term. Uh, Eldritch basically grabs Kobo, uh, armpit carries, slash football carries him, and falls down. Completely trusts you. Uh, and Shashar just takes the kids and jumps. You are all able to make it down to the ground, and you can tell that the water is refilling this area. Which means you might want to get out of this area soon. There is a continuing a path northward, but you can tell at a certain point, uh, sooner rather than later, the water is going to refill in this cave system. Go. Yeah, you guys, I'll, I'll follow. You guys lead the way. All right, you want north? All right. As you begin to head north, you do see that the sensation of the ground continues to follow you without too much of an incident. Without knowing where you're going, you can tell that there's a water system pathway further ahead. You don't exactly know where it is, but you know it's north. But the longer you take along this path that you're currently going, the more likely the water behind you will reach you. So one thing is certain, definitely certain in your minds. If you take your time, well, how many of you can breathe underwater? 
that's a question for next time as we end the session for today.